the team. And for one member of the Bills, training camp is turning into more of a family affair. We're talking about running back Fred Jackson, who, with four kids, has plenty to juggle. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Beauvais giving us an inside look. So a lot of people, when they ask me, you know, how I'm still able to be out here and do this, I say it's not just me. You know, it's a team, you know, thing that we get done. You know, without her, I wouldn't be able to do it. He's talking about his wife, Danielle, the woman married to the man Buffalo loves so much. She's the one who keeps their four kids, Brayden, Kaylin, Jaden, and Mason, under control after the occasional potty. You're potty? Okay, then stay here. All right. All while dad works on the field. Not, it's not really anything that I do. I got to say it's more mom than me. You know, uh, she, she manages everything at the house and allows me to just come out here and focus on football. The Jacksons have been married since Fred joined the Bills back in 2006 with their oldest son, Brayden, coming soon after. We used to come more. Our son plays football now, and that started up, so that's a uh, everyday thing. This is my oldest son. <laughs> and how old is he? Hi. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so he has football during the week, so if we can sneak away on the weekend, that's when we try to make it work. And with Braden's first football game just around the corner, he and his sisters wearing their custom-made I Love 22 jerseys get in some work in the gym because having the family all in one place is all that matters. I like to take them with me, you know, everywhere we go and the away games or training camp or whatever we do, we kind of all do it together, so it's a lot of fun. Now today during practice, it was pushing 90 degrees. You try controlling four kids when it's that hot out. Mom says all of the girls want to spend all their time in the bounce houses while Brayden watches along and watches dad. But once dad's done with practice, all of their faces light up. They just can't wait to see their dad. In Pittsburgh, Matt Bovee, 7 Eyewitness News.